Hold on a second. Yes, mortal, I'm talking to you. Are you really sure you know what you're doing there? Cutting a person's life thread results in death. And that's irreversible. Clotho, say something. Lachesis, don't interfere with the human's decision, sister. As goddesses of fate, we are supposed to remain neutral observers. Am I right, Atropos? Atropos reminded her sisters that they were arguing to no avail. The mortal's choice had been predetermined long ago. Oh, Atropos, can't you speak like a normal person for once? Atropos found her speech quite normal and declined to dignify the remark with a response. So, human, what will it be? I don't like this part of the story. Me neither, to be honest. And yet it had to be told. What? Wait, I remember this place. We were here together many times. Right. What did you call it again? The World in Between. We thought it a fitting locale for our... encounters. I mean, a mortal woman and death. Encounters? Ah, charming as always, Thanatos. These shadows on the wall... Are they the souls you couldn't... Yes. They are trapped here forever. Reminding me of my mistake. You have to forgive yourself, Thanatos. I would much prefer to leave the past in the past. You won't ever change, will you? Death is as unchangeable as it is inevitable. Now show yourself already! Ugh, there's no reason to put on an act with me. Hello, Morwen. You look... Dead? I... am afraid so. What about Prim? Is she... The child is alright. There is no need to worry. No, she's not. She needs someone by her side. Especially now. Remember what the goddesses of fate said when she was born? A power over life and death would awaken in her. As soon as... As soon as she turns 16, I know. Forgetting things is not in my nature. Listen to me. Up until now, it wasn't a problem for you to keep to yourself and do your... thing. We got along just fine without you. But now... now things have changed. She needs help. Well, I have heard the orphanages these days are not as bad as people make them out to be. Is this all a cosmic joke to you? She's your daughter too! How am I supposed to take care of a child? You know who I am. I know you have your responsibilities. But your daughter is one of them now. She needs you. I need you. So you'll have to find a way to make it work. Promise me you'll take care of her. I... Promise me! So be it. I promise. Good. You be nice to her, you hear? Fine. I will try. Then I think I'm ready. For whatever comes next. Goodbye, Morwen. Safe travels. I will need to make preparations before transporting the child to my realm. Death has a daughter. This is ridiculous. In the land of the living, Prim didn't have the slightest idea that Thanatos, the god of death, was already on his way to her. 
the girl's mind was engulfed in a haze of grief, for her beloved mother, Morwen, had passed away in a terrible accident only weeks before. Mourning makes mortals do strange things. In Prim's case, she did what any 15-year-old would do. Go, Go somewhere, somewhere forbidden. forbidden. Hideaway. She never let me up here. Prim, are you sure this is a good idea? It's really dark up there. Don't chicken out again, Triss. C can't we at least wait for better weather? That this storm is making everything twice as creepy. Oh, come on, scaredy pants. You promise don't bail out now. Do I really have to? Tristan, please. This is important to me. Going through Mom's things might help me feel close to her, even if it's just for a moment. Oh, fine. But, but I'm staying on the ladder. Whoa. What is all this? I have no idea, but we're here to find out. <laughs> Mom usually didn't take pictures of houses. She was more of a portrait photographer. Trist, behind you, a, a three-headed dog. A what? Don't worry, it already ate a little kid today. Ha, ha. Mm, I hope the chicken this monstrosity came from is just as big. Otherwise, ouch. Ugh, I really hope Mom didn't put that thing in my crib. Although, that could explain the nightmares. I never knew Mom was into music. It probably wasn't hers. Hmm, strange. The floor makes a different sound here. The floor at our house does that all the time. And you should really get that fixed. It drives me up a wall. Madame can move to a hotel anytime she pleases. Ha ha. You do know I'm thankful you and your family took me in. I mean it. Even with my dad doing his weird magic tricks all the time? It's so embarrassing. <laughs> A price I'm willing to pay to avoid homelessness. And to live with your best friend. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that too. Hey, I mean, at least you know your dad. Mom never told me anything about mine. So, what's this under my feet? <sighs> Jackpot. A box. And <gasps> a present? It must be for my birthday. But, but isn't your birthday next week? In three days and two hours, to be precise, Mom planned ahead. Oh. It's like these things were waiting here for me. A bag of mole food? That's strange. This part of the attic is so dark, I won't be able to find anything without some light. And we all know the coolest things are hidden in the darkest places. camera. It meant the world to her, and she wanted me to have it.
Mom's beloved instant camera. It has the brightest flash I've ever seen. Hmm, what a strange box. It's surprisingly heavy for its size. I can't lift it. <sighs> but I can try to open it. It's locked, but there's no keyhole. Only a skull-shaped notch. There must be a way to get it open. I'm sure Mom hid something around here. Mom's beloved... This part of the attic is so dark, I won't be able to find anything without some light. And we all know the coolest things are... Let's see if we can shed some light on the matter. Oh, it looks like the batteries are dead. I should ask Tristan if he can get me some. Tristan, can you get me some batteries for the camera? They're in the living room. Uh, sure. But be careful. You know me. I'm graceful as a... Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm okay. <sighs> He'll never learn. Here's the batteries and a cookie. Thanks. Mom's beloved. Also, its batteries are empty. That should do the trick. Let's try it again. I should have a look at the photo. Maybe I can spot something interesting. what it looks like over there. More boxes. Wow. But wait, what's that shiny thing? Hmm, something must have reflected the flash. I'm sure I can find it in the dark now. A necklace? Hmm. Must have been Mom's. I didn't know her taste was so... morbid. <sighs> Another big pile of stuff. It's locked, but there's no keyhole. Only a skull-shaped notch. There must be a way to get it open. I'm sure Mom hid something around here. The tiny skull fits right into this little notch. Let's see what's in here. What? What was that? Okay, things are getting way too strange up here. Prim, can we go now? Please? You know what? You go ahead. I need a few minutes alone anyway. Are you sure? Yep, but leave me some cookies. You better make it quick. They say time heals all wounds. Yet grief is not so simple. The pain lingers, a persistent ache that refuses to fade away. But it transforms, shifts shape, 
becomes a more tolerable burden. The comfort of a friend, a soft bed or a plate of cookies can make all the difference in the world. Because let's face it, cookies make everything better. It's full of instant photos. What a surprise. Mom took her camera with her everywhere, and guess who was her favorite subject? Oh, here she is. My mom, Morwen. Oh, beautiful, wasn't she? Oh, that was after Tristan's weird obsession with becoming a rope dancer. Didn't end too well for him, to no one's surprise. He really is one big doofus. But he's my doofus. <laughs> what the heck? Who is this? Okay. What's that shining behind those boxes? What's that strange light? What's that strange light? I don't want to take a photo of this. I'll move these out of the way. Curious, but not without fear, Prim approached the circle of light that had manifested right in front of her. Before she could reach it, there he was. Out of the portal stepped a hooded skeleton with eyes as black as the darkest night. And in a voice that sounded more in Prim's head than in her ears, the monster spoke to her. I am Death, your father. And from now on, you are my ward. Humans have absolutely no idea what to do when they encounter the Grim Reaper. So, after carefully weighing up all their options, most of them pick the obvious thing and just drop dead. In Prim's case, Thanatos had made sure that wouldn't happen. Thus, when she met him, she only died a little bit. And she changed. Just enough so that he could take her to his realm. And as she was carried into the portal by her long absent father, Prim left behind a whole life. A faithful friend and broken camera. Prim? Prim? No matter how often or how loudly Tristan called her name, Prim was nowhere to be found. Oh, poor dear. Little did Prim know, she had been transported to a place where mortals can only go once their life has come to an end. The Realm of the, of the Dead. The dead.